Hi everybody, Vlad Ewers here, and I'm making a video on my latest project. Um, I decided to start this little project just because it's going to be real simple, and I'm waiting on production delivery of the other PCB project. So while I'm waiting, I decided why not tackle this one. Um, I actually got uh, a message on. YouTube videos by Blank Effects where he says, I'd rather prefer a video about changing the Windforce logo, but your skills obviously seem superior to this. Uh, thank you for that comment. Um, but, you know, I decided, you know, actually what, <laughs> when you were writing to me, I was recording the desktop view portion of this, so um, I was already on this project before you commented, but um, the Windforce logo. This is the thing that you pull out. You pull it out like this. It's got an acrylic backplate, and at first I thought it was a one piece like this, but I realized later that it's actually two pieces. It's a piece of acrylic, clear acrylic, um, and then this backplate here is just a piece of. It's a piece of uh, opaque. Like you can see that it's see through. Uh, or, yeah, there you go. You see it's see through. Um, it's opaque though, so um, it, I think they use that to give the light, you know, kind of a, a, a different feel, but, um, and I've, I've looked at a few places and found some 4x4 four four inch pieces uh, of opaque acrylic sheet for, um, four I don't know, it was $2, so out of that 4x4 four four, I could print off four, or I not print off, but I can get four custom logos made. Um, so today is going to be part one video of how I'm going to design the logo because in order for it to get CNC cut from that acrylic piece, it needs to be, um, there needs to be a model for it. So I decided to create, generate a model. Before doing that, I had to uh, take some measurements um, and it's a lot of gibberish on paper, but um, I use my digital calipers to get an accurate reading in millimeters. And I'm going to show you the process um, in the second part of this, or not second part, but in this video that's coming up right now. Alright guys, and now I'm on my computer. Um, what you see in front of you is the program called SketchUp, or SketchUp Make. Um, it was originally released by Google, I believe, and now it's owned by a different company. Um, I don't remember the name. But either way, um, actually I can just show you here. So it's owned by Trimble Navigation Limited. Um, but it's basically a free 3D software and I created this just by taking measurements. Um, and so basically this is the exact copy. Um, you can see it's sort of see-through there. I did my best, but um, I'll go ahead and show you that I can, uh, there's the acrylic piece too, which is completely see-through. And then the LED PCB, uh, which I'll show you here. So I see it's see-through. So that's the PCB itself. It's got the uh, contacts on the back. Um, but I was just screwing around with it, you know, trying it out. But this is essentially what you have. Um, you don't need these two. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to recreate this um, so you can essentially create your own logo where it says Windforce. Uh, we're not going to get super complex in making these little edges because you don't necessarily need them when your LED is going to be in place in the video card um, and this logo it won't be seen so we're going to go ahead and uh, create a new layer this is going to be a tutorial layer okay and we're going to go to it and we're going to make the other one non-visible or invisible okay first things first is we're going to set down a Oops, yeah, 12.5 millimeter by 75 millimeter box. Mm, unfortunately, we're going to have to do this in a new, I'm going to create a new, I'm um, going to create a new thing here. So first of all, we're going to delete this guy and then we're going to click camera standard views top. Shouldn't have done that because now my orientation's all messed up. There you go. That's the way I like it. Okay, so we're going to create the platform, which is going to be 12.5 millimeters by 
Oh, one more thing before I finish. I have to go to Window Model and make sure my precision is set to three decimals, or three um, zeros after the decimal point. So, 12.5 millimeters by 75 millimeters. And there we go. Okay, the thickness of this first part is uh, 0 0.65 millimeters, according to my little paper that I drew and I reported. And now we're going to lock this layer so it can't be modified. Not lock it, but um, we're going to write bottom layer. Okay. Next, we're going to center the gra or center the lettering, and this is important because the opening in the metal of the um, where the LED goes is actually this size that we're going to we're going to measure out. It fits perfectly in there. So let's see. Um, I know that the, the center part, or the lettering, is 8 millimeters. So I subtract that from 12.5. I get uh, 4.5 4 divided by 2 is 2.25. So 2.25 millimeters on this side. 2.25 millimeters on that side. And then on these sides, it's going to be um, 61.7 minus 75. 13.3 divided by 2, so 6.65 on each side. 6.65. 6.65, okay, and now we're going to make this little um, indent. We're going to pick that up uh, 0 0.35 millimeters, and we're going to lock it as the middle layer. Middle layer, okay, and on here is where uh, um, wind force would have been, but here is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new logo. So we see that it's um, eight millimeters across here. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to tools, 3D text, and we're going to pick a font. You can pick any font you want. Um, let's go. I like Palantino. Let's type in GTX 980, <laughs> which is, um, and we're going to make sure that the height is 8 millimeters, and make sure extruded is checked and filled is checked, um, and the extruded value is going to be 0.65, which is already in here, uh, but make sure it's 0.65 because that means it'll be 0.65 up from that. So we're going to place. And we're going to place on there. We're going to go down here. And we're going to make sure that this gets moved. It's got a really weird placing system for some reason. There we go. And now we're going to rotate it. There we go. So just to confirm that it's all lined up perfectly. So for some reason I'm getting a, a little bit of a difference. Um, 2.25 plus 2.25 is 4.5 plus 12.5. So does this not measure 8? That's 8. 2.25. Ten. What are you talking about? Oh, that's why. Let's do from here. Let's do from this. Seven point eight. Which is weird. I think that's because um, it's done that way because one of these letters is bigger than the other, which I think G is slightly bigger. So now what we see here is GTX 980 is on here, but it doesn't fill the whole board. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to press S, which is the uh, scale, and then we're going to hit this middle button on the side that has the two arrows, and we're going to drag it out. Gonna drag it and zoom in here. We're gonna drag it out and move it onto this line here, like this, and click. And there we go. There we go. GTX 980. 
this is going to be the new logo that will light up um, red and just to screw around like this is this is what you would send in or you would put into your um, CNC machine to cut this out uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play around here and fill in some red And then the rest, fill it in with the slightly darkish black. Oops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure they're all black first, and then I'll do the tops red. Okay. just the tops. This will be a lot easier for you guys to see what what the and now I know this is not the correct color or whatever but that's the LED color will glow and then I'll click here and then I can use that to paint that all black. And so essentially once once you get this printed um, once you get this printed from the CNC from that that sheet, um, you're gonna spray paint it black and then flip it over onto a piece of sandpaper and you know rub it a few times. And since the GTX 980, this portion is the high part. Um, only it will the paint off it will rub off. All the black paint all around will stay. Um, so this can be done, I believe, for the 960. The 970, the 980, um, you can customize whatever you want it to say. Um, I wouldn't recommend, you know, um, actually, I'd, I'd recommend whatever you want because it's your computer. But um, what else was I going to say? So, yeah, this is part one of the project. Part two is where I'm actually going to get this done. Uh, I'm going to send this to a CNC person that's got, you know, a router that can do it. Um, they're gonna do it for me and I will post the second video when I get that um, showing what it looks like and you know I'll probably show it before the paint but um, as I said I'm gonna show you guys the um, the plastic um, now in my area I have a place called tap plastics um, you have to look around for a plastic supplier in your area but tap plastics for me offers um, cast acrylic and they offer 40% and a 60% 60% lets a little bit more light in I think 40% uh, is what I'm looking for and I can click this button that says buy 1 8 inch 4 inch by 4 inch sample like I was talking about click it and calculate cost two dollars so two dollars plus this little time that I spent you know working on this machine plus you know whatever it's going to cost me to get the CNC done which I don't think it's going to be much because as long as I have the drawing already for them this 3D drawing they can convert it into their software and their router should be able to just go to work um, you know maybe 10-15 minutes cut out two of these since these are pretty small um, but like I said I'll follow it up with a second video for you guys so you guys can get a look and um, if it's successful then you know this is I think gonna be a cool mod for people who want you know don't want it to say wind force and would like it to say something else but um, I hope you guys like this and uh, if you'd like to follow along and you know get a notification when my my next video on this comes out um, just subscribe and uh, you'll get a email or whatever so thanks for watching guys